Hey guys, so uh, we're going to be recording this, so whoever can't join us live, I will make this information available either on my Instagram or on my YouTube channel in the coming days. So hopefully I have this set up that I don't need to let people in, so I'm going to keep the screen on for a few moments. I said I'm going to start at 2.40, so I've got one minute and then we get cracking. So I see there's a few participants adding in, so they shouldn't need my uh, approval to get in, so that's great. Okay, guys, so welcome to today's uh, summary presentation on a recent presentation it did at the Swiss Convention in America about, about a week and a half ago now. And the topic was on um, how to make your business more resilient, particularly with the challenge that we've had over the last while. One of the issues that I have as a, as a coach, as a trainer, as a gym owner, sometimes we tend to lean on, on experts for knowledge and nutrition and rehabilitation on marketing, but not necessarily on, on the utilization and strategic development of your business itself. So let's go through the top five things that I got as feedback from the attendees that attended the workshop. Once it's available, I'll make it available on my website. But let's get cracking into the summary content. Hopefully this works well. Slide. Share. Okay, brilliant. So there you go. Close that for a second. Okay, great. So today's topic is going to be uh, multiple streams for income to make your business more resilient. Now it doesn't really matter what type of business you're in. If you're giving expertise, if you're giving a voice, if you're giving your time to somebody, you're consulting with them. And a lot of times as a coach, as a trainer, we're giving our information away for free. So it's very important that if you are offering your voice from a, a training point of view, from a nutrition point of view, from a gym design point of view, to a, a equipment supply, that it's a consultancy service you offer. So during COVID, one of the things that I really honed in on is saying no to a lot of stuff so the question is it's either a hell yes or it's a no so if someone is asking for your expertise and your advice make sure that you're an expert or at least really competent in that area and you have a field of people that you can lean on to give advice so as a consultant it's someone that you're offering guidance support advice and then you have a team of people that you can uh, lean on to help your client or your person to get to where they want to get to so it's very important that if you are offering advice that you're offering a consultancy and you have to charge for the time that you're putting in and the help you're offering your clients so the first thing that i got across is what fulfills you so in your job, whatever job or whatever field of this industry you're involved in, nutrition, fitness, membership, chiropractic, osteopathy, whether you're a coach, whether you're an online coach, one of the things that people tend to get confused is what fulfills you in your life and what fulfills you in business and not necessarily the same thing. What I know about football, you could write on the back of a matchstick. So I know very little about football and teams and players and transfer lists and what to get paid. But our friends of mine that know everything, I know all the sponsors of the jerseys for the last 10, 20 years, know the capacity of the grounds, know their away jersey colours, the substitutes, their, their wives, their people that they're endorsed in, the marketing and um, the, the sponsorship they have on the jerseys. I, I don't know all that. But the reason why they follow it so much is that they're passionate about it. So if you find your job and you're passionate about it and it really fulfills you, that's when you'll see you know, areas in, in the industry where you can innovate, areas in the industry where you can maybe capitalize on one branch or the other branch but try to find whatever job fulfills you if you're in a job and it doesn't fulfill you the chance of you being to be successful and be business resilient in that industry is going to be narrowed down so the most important thing i would say is if you're not in the job that you want to be in if you're not in the aspect of the job that doesn't fulfill you well then do your best to get into that position. You are 100% responsible where you are in life in relation to your job. I understand that there's certain commitments from a mortgage and the kids that you need to fulfill. However, there's always more you can do. As we say in the industry, the extra mile is never busy. So if you need to upskill yourself in training and nutrition or business or accounting or finance or, or computers or technology, whatever aspect you need to build up your, your expertise, you can get into the job that fulfills you. Spend the time to get into that now. 
And a lot of times in this fitness and wellness and gym ownership world, if you want to call it industry, people focus on the actual technical job of, of being a better coach or biomechanics or nutrition or biochemistry or blood analysis, where it may not necessarily be where the weak link is. The success of their business isn't down to where they can read a blood panel. The success of their business and their membership isn't down to the ergonomic assessment or the biomechanical evaluation of their athletes. It's so crucially important that we focus on what fulfills us, what drives us, and that that's that's when study, that's when going to seminar, that's when watching webinars, that's when reading and upskilling yourself isn't a chore, it's a passion. And that passion will directly translate into better success for you, for your business, and ultimately in your life in the long term. So this, this, this has been said many different times, get on the right bus. So well, two things we need to know is one, where we currently are. So where we currently are in your business of success. Are you at 20% of your capacity, 60% of your capacity? Was that 100% week last week? So you need to know what revenue you need to earn every day. So for me, I have a set target of what I need to earn every single day. How many hours I'm willing to work? How much time I'm looking to invest in it? How much time I'm going to invest in the training? How much time I'm going to invest in to educate myself? How much time I'm going to invest in, in my business mentors and my coaches? But one of the things that I find a big challenge in this industry is that we, we, one, we don't know where we are. Okay. Two, we don't know where our destination is. And three, there's the wrong people on the bus. So there's a great question when it comes to recruitment. But if you wouldn't hire the people again on your team, they probably shouldn't be there now at the moment. So people that drive you forward, that support, that are innovative, supportive, have a growth mindset, these are the people you want on your team. And unfortunately, if you've got negative people in your team, people that always come up with a challenge, always come up with a negative aspect of the business, that are not supportive to you, to your education, that when you, when you pose an idea, they attack you rather than attack the business. So on the bus, you want like-minded, focused, growth mindset people that are willing to learn, that are willing to move forward, and that have a cohesive focus on where the company needs to be moving forward. There's always additional branches. We've all heard of people like Google, where you had guys go off and develop um, a video component, and all of a sudden then it becomes YouTube. The guys that are, have know what a leak of barbells are. A leak of barbells are actually made with two guys after hours in work, making barbells out of uh, metal in the actual... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, what you call it, the workshops after hours. So a whole, the whole Alico company came about with people doing additional work after hours. So it's always good to support and to be a mentor to your people in, in your company. But once they're like-minded, once they're contributing positively to the success of your business and consistently do that, then they're the right people on the bus because you attract more like-minded people. I like to use football as an example. If we had a football team and everyone knew how to, what game they're playing, they're playing soccer. They're not playing American football, they're not playing Gaelic football, they're not playing ice hockey. We all know the game we're playing. Then we all need to know the position that we need to play in because we all work better when we know everyone else is covering their position. And then we can attack and actually be successful. We all know what a successful outcome looks like. But unfortunately, there's some people that are, are in the bus and they need to be micromanaged. They, 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 they don't have the, the autonomy. They don't have the focus. They don't have the consistency to positively contribute to the success of the company. Now, that might be a situation and everyone else is different. But maybe this journey is going to be their own. Maybe it's not a bus. So the great saying is there's a reason why the, a Maserati has two seats and a bus has 40 seats. So sometimes the journey or the destination you want to get to may be a, a destination that you need a team to get to it. And maybe it's a, a smaller team. However, well, what I would say is surround yourself with people that are supportive to your direction, to your business growth, and then add value. They add value to what you're doing. If they're, they don't add value and they're negative people and they're always bringing things down and it's all about them, they're not the people you focus your, with, focus your time with. There's one most, one of the most important things in on this planet is time. So who you choose to invest your time with, who you choose to spend your time with, who you choose to collaborate and work with moving forward, these are the people that you want to make sure that they're, they're like-minded and move you forward towards your direction. So what I did is, during the Swiss presentation, I gave this offer, so I'm just going to give it away again because it's there on the site now and it's active. So what it is, it's a course that I developed for over 30 days, completely free. This isn't me trying to sell a course, but it's five minutes every single day. It's five minutes every single day for 30 days in a row. And what it is, is about getting your players or your people on the bus to be all on the same page. So whether you're a coach, a trainer, a gym owner, a therapist, a nutritionist, you're an s &C coach, whether you're just a, you're running your own business, the, the tips, tricks, and hacks uh, and processes on this 30-day course is phenomenal. So it's for me, for over the last 25 years of coaching people, working in different businesses, running my own businesses, what people need to be to be excellent. 
every single day. So you need team players turning up and saying, what can I do? How can I make this better? How can I make the experience better for my clients, for my patients, for my members? What can I do to grow the business? Does every engagement I give with my staff members, with my superiors, with the people on the team, with this, with, with the actual customers, is it excellent? So if you want to access to this, it's ownacieducation.com. You look up the how to become a, an excellent coach, trainer, gym owner, and the, and the passcode there is Swiss two thousand two. Free access to the course. You're willing to take it. You're, you're open to take a screenshot of this, share this with your people on your team if they can't make it today. You're open to put this on Instagram or Facebook and LinkedIn. Please do share it. The more people that we have pushing forward in this industry, higher in the standards of professionalism and getting better results with the clients, the better it's going to be for us all. So. If there's any additional stuff, if you maybe you assess your business and realize there's areas that we need to improve on, reach out to me, let me know. I, I develop bespoke workshops, presentations, online courses for you and for your team. So if that's something that you're looking for, that you're looking for a course to help you with education is a weekly, do reach out and we put together something bespoke for your team and your company. So we've all heard of this before. It's called a reticular activating system. If I said to you now, um, you're going to go outside now and you are not allowed to eat bread. Bread is off the table. You can't eat bread whatsoever. All you see is Johnson, Mooney, and O'Brien, truck, truck, gold boy, people with sandwiches, people eating rolls. You start to focus on this because I've told you, don't think about it. Don't go for it. But in every situation, we can program ourselves for success. So every time that you're with a client, every time you, you're speaking to a member, every time you're speaking to a staff member, we have the position to focus on the positive, or to focus on what we can do to improve. And this was called the reticular activating system, the subconscious programming for ourselves for success. So you, you can't, in some situations, you can't do something, but you always can do something. So maybe your, your hands are tied with the membership, but it's always additional service, a different feedback or, or, or classes or engagements or consultations there's always something more we can do to give better service towards our clients there's always something more so the number three tip was in every situation you have an opportunity so whether that's whether you're getting your hair cut whether that's going for a dinner whether that's a walk-in client whether that's seeing a patient in your clinic whether that's talking to a staff member that's whether interviewing somebody that's whether talking to your mother your father your husband your wife your your daughter anyone you have an opportunity for that situation to listen to them to add advice, to be a coach, to be a facilitator, to have some humor, to make it go very negative, to go very positive, to be energetic, to be enthusiastic, to be empathetic. But don't just drift. People that drift give out about where they end up. But you can't give out with the results that you didn't get from the work you didn't put in. So in every situation, you, if you can, make a conscious decision, decision to be engaged in the moment, to add value to your clients, to add value to your friends, to realize that we all wear different hats. I wear a hat as a brother, as a husband, as a father, as an employer, as an employee. But the fact is, I'm always trying to add value to the people I spend my time with. When you're talking to your friends, listen to them. Don't just be one of those people that nods their head until the person's finished and then they jump in with what they want to say, regardless of what that person has to say. So whether it be a client, whether it be a member, you have an opportunity with your body language, with your tone, with your with your energy, with your enthusiasm. I make the joke that if my wife rang me and said, hey, babe, on the phone, two words, hey babe, I'd know whether she's hungry, if she's horny, if she was happy, if she needed money, if the kids were hurt, if she was in stress, whatever it is. So we can get across whether we're in good humor, bad humor very easily. And sometimes as a coach and as a trainer, sometimes we don't focus on that. But whether you're standing up doing a big presentation or whether you're on the gym floor or you're in the therapy room, or whether you're outside, you're, you're, you're tr people see you in your business and this is a service business. So every, in every situation, you have an opportunity to steer that towards showcasing yourself, your business ethic, your work ethic, your professionalism, your engagement, your enthusiasm, your language, your body language, everything, you, every situation you have an opportunity to move that towards your business. And in business, people will do business with their friends first. So if people are engaging with you on a regular basis, they're like, that guy is switched on, he's knowledgeable, he's engaging. He actively listens. He knows my name, my kids. He, he knows where to go shopping. He helped me able to do this and do that. Then when work comes around, you'll be the first person to think of. So everything you do and anything you do, everything is how you've done and excellent. So if you do one thing and it's not excellent, we go, ah, he's okay with low standards. But if you come into the gym and there's dumbbells all over the place and the place is dirty, that's a reflection of the quality of your service. So how you do one thing is how you do everything. So always seek for excellence. And in every situation, you have an opportunity to step it up. So now we have number four, which is the ideal week. So I got that from my, my full focus planner. I'm a, I'm a big advocate. Oh, 
here it is here, my big, my full focus planner I use every single day. And what I have in that is my ideal week. I've listed down how my week should work. The hours I train, the days I drop the kids to school, the days I, I do my study, the, how many clients to see on this day and that day. If I've hit my target of revenue every single day, I review it every week. Was that a positive week? That was there areas of opportunity? Did I hit my goal from an education? What worked, what didn't work? my affirmation for the next week. So this is the thing, every single day, every single week, I review it. But I challenge everyone out there, if you listed down your ideal week, if you went for a date night, if you train five days a week, if you study for 10 hours a week, if you did 25 clients or 30 clients, or maybe you're an osteopath and you do maybe 80 sessions a week, I don't know the numbers, but the fact is, you then have a, a barometer of assessing what worked and what didn't work. If you have, if you're a staff member and they have X amount of clients to see and they didn't see them, or if your clients are leaving you and the, the gym membership is going down, well, why is your attrition going down? Have you done feedback? What else can you do? There's always more you can do. So from a business point of view, just if you sit down, you assess the, the actual markers of your business and you list down an ideal week and you constantly change that ideal week so that it's improving and it's getting you to where you want to get to. As I said in the bus, one is your current location, two is where you want to get to, get the right people on the bus and every day do simple things savagely well to get you towards your business goals. And then number five there, I can't stress this enough. This is something that I, I really didn't embrace later on in my life, although I had a lot of clients that get, gave, me, uh, gave me advice and friendship and, and, and motivation and, and were really giving me key directions on what I should and shouldn't do. And unfortunately, a lot of coaches I had at a very young age, and I say unfortunate, I learned what not to do than what to do. So one of the things that I've refined is the time, the time I spend on stuff, the time I invest in education, the time I invest in business, what avenues of business I, I actually explore and making sure that I get value from it. I add value to the situation and, and then I get value from it. So when you come into a situation, you add value, people will pay for your expertise. They'll pay for your time because they value what you have to say. If you're not knowledgeable, if you're not professionally, if you're not striving for excellence in your, in your position, in your job, well, then you're not going to attract other people that if you don't... It, use that so in, in training people in memberships in service in customer service in engagement in, in, in technology you know whatever aspect of the business you're in if you're constantly looking to improve it and you're offering value and to your clients people will queue up to see you however it's always advantageous to have coaches and a mentor or a circle of coaches that can help you refine your focus on your money your focus on your time your work-life balance your wellness, your your strategic marketing, your graphic design, your apps, your your recruitment process. No matter what aspect of the business you need improvement in, you can't expect to do it yourself. We to get to any journey, you might be the person driving the bus. You might be only one or two people on your team, but you need to align yourself with experts that can help you refine your focus, to bounce ideas off, to to walk through a process to help you coach through what you actually truly want. Do you want to earn a million euro, two million euro, ten million euro from your company and if that's the value you have how are you going to get there and it's a worth of time to put into that so realizing that yes you can work a 60 or 80 hour a week no problem and earn excellent amount of money but you're putting yourself out you have no time with your family no time with your kids and, and ultimately in that stream of revenue you know there's other people in the industry that are going to come in and see you in three or four years time that can do it cheaper easier and better than you so having coaches and experts in the industry can help you identify if the trajectory of your business model is going to work long term you wouldn't be getting a Blockbusters or an Activision or a video rental store now because you know there's no, there's no way that's going to work long term into the future. People are working from home. Technology is your company evolving. If you can imagine your current business in four, three years' time, what does it look like? How well is it succeeding? And how well is it succeeding, should I say? And then what other companies that are doing better than you and what are they doing to be better than you? Have they more tech? Have they more staff? Are they doing more corporate work? Are they doing more wellness work? Do they have a team of osteos or chiros or physios or nutritionists or lab testing? What are they doing? So always trying to identify where you want to get to and be excellent at that, but also be open-minded, be flexible and to be innovative enough to be able to be flexible to change your business model to adapt to the current changes as things move forward. So just to reiterate the offer there, I know I said I'm not going to go much longer than 20 minutes. The offer for you, your staff, your friends, your colleagues, your network of people on your Instagram, the course here is to be excellent as a coach, trainer, a gym owner. It's five minutes every single day. So that's 
appointment it takes to have a coffee. The code for free access is SWIFT2022. Get on to it for your staff, for your clients, for your friends. It just gets everyone on the same page. It's everybody pulling in the same direction. Everybody actively focused on improving themselves, improving their engagement with others, and getting the best success out of the company and making their contribution to the team positive, but also an enjoyable and happy atmosphere. Then if there is something that you want in particular, a workshop, a seminar, an internship, please reach out, let me know. I'll happily help in any way I can. And then the last thing there is enjoy the journey. So that's my youngest daughter there, Mabel. So sometimes we just have to have a little bit of fun. We're always focusing on getting the nicer car or getting the big house or getting the holidays. And people don't enjoy the journey. It's so vitally important that when people see you doing what you love, when you so thoroughly and get fulfilled from the job that you do, working with the clients and athletes that you do, you love your journey. Education will be so enjoyable for you. The business will be so enjoyable. You love going to work every single day. But if the money is tight, if membership is going down and you're doing all the same thing all the time, get a coach. Let me help you. Let me help. Let me advise someone else to come and see you. Maybe it's a tech person. Maybe it's a website person. Maybe it's a social media person. The fact is, focus your time on what's going to move your business forward. And in order to do that, you may need outside oil to see where you're spending the best use of your time. If you're online squatting and showing people to squat, but that's nowhere near the clientele that you want to get into your facility, but then that's going to be a waste of time. Yes, it get you more followers, but those followers may not end up being clients of yours in your facility. However, if you're an online coach, well, maybe that is an aspect that you need to do. And then maybe it's a tech company. Maybe it's, it's wearables or something like that you need to in, implement in your business to get better revenue from it. So that's it, guys. So thank you so much for your time. Um, I hope you got some information from this. If this webinar was helpful for, for, to you, please share it on social media. My uh, Instagram is on, at OwnLacy Education. So give us a follow and a like. Other than that, guys, have a great weekend and hope to bring these webinars to you more on a regular basis. Thank you so much.